Welcome back to the channel everybody. So you've watched my entire series on building this camper and I got to thinking it's probably time to get this thing off the trailer for the season. We're coming into winter time and my original intention was to be able to store this outside. Obviously it's built to be able to be outside but I'm fortunate enough to have enough room in my shop behind me here to leave it in here. However, I do want to be able to move it around in here. So today's video I'm going to build a little dolly that will have a couple wheels on the back side and I'll be able to use my floor jack on the front to steer this thing around in the shop. Let me show you what I mean. Alright, so as you can see, I have the cable disconnected and I've used my tractor for the time being to pull this off the trailer uh, just far enough for me to be able to take some measurements. Um, I went to the home store today and I bought two fixed direction caster wheels. Well, I guess they wouldn't be casters, they'd just be wheels. Um, they each have a 600 pound weight rating. So this half of the trailer would have a rating of, uh, I guess it'd be 1200 pounds, which I estimate to be half of, half of the weight of this thing, roughly. Um, and then of course the floor jack on the front. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a big piece of 2x8 and I'm going to cut it to fit the width of the back of here. And I'm going to cut a couple of brace pieces so I can slide it up in here and it'll kind of be captured. And these wheels will be attached to the bottom of it. Let's just get into building this thing and show you guys what I mean. All right, so here's the scoop. We are gonna put, see I've got a line right here. We're gonna put these two by fours on the edge, kind of like so, to catch the edge of the bottom of the trailer there. And I made these quarter inch spacers right here. We're gonna put those right in here, if you can see that, so that when I put this on there, I've got exactly a, uh, three and a half inches between the bottom of the trailer and the bottom of the skid that's on there So if I put this spacer on here that should ensure that this doesn't engage the bottom of the trailer too difficult So we're gonna do that on each side This side is gonna be the same thing I'm gonna put in one of these right here and I've marked out where the skid should hit And what we'll do from there is we'll lag bolt we'll lag bolt our wheels with long lags the one side of the wheel will be a long lag into the 2x4 the other side will be a shorter lag underneath here that will attach the uh, wheels to this dolly frame and then I'm gonna drill half inch holes in the sides of each one of these and I've got pins that'll slide in there and that'll keep this thing from wanting to fall off or move or anything like that. So um, I'll keep plugging away and you guys will see kind of my concept come to life here. be right where I want it. All right, so we're going to put a couple screws in hold it where it needs to be temporarily
to hold this in place, I'm gonna use these pins where I can put a pin in here and a pin in here and drill us a hole. As soon as we get deep enough, that ought to fit right in there. So that'll hold this right in place here. Now we'll go do the other side. There we go. So now I'll be able to let the pressure off this and then it'll stay directly in place. And now my dolly is attached on both sides. And I'm ready to pull this thing off and sit this back end on the ground, on the wheels. So let me put some of my tools away and get the shop tidied up here a little bit and we will pull this thing off and be rocking and rolling. Okay, this is it. Done deal. This is what she's supposed to look like. And I can drive this in the shop now. Wherever I need it to go. So for right now, I'm actually going to park it where I had it when it was on the trailer. Actually, you gotta go this way. Let's take a quick close look at uh, the final product. So obviously that hitch will come out. It doesn't go there, but all of our weight is bearing through the wheel, up through the two by eight and into the four by six crib on the bottom. It's being held in place by pins. When I go to put this back on the trailer, I'll be able to elevate the front back the trailer underneath it and then winch it on just like I had previously designed. When the trailer gets on to about here, I'll be able to pull my pins and take my dolly off, winch it on the rest of the way. That is it for this video. It got pretty hot and humid out here. It's almost October, but uh, today is like in the low 80s and humid. So I'm gonna put my tools away and that's gonna be it for this video. So I appreciate you guys watching. We'll see you on the next one.